Hi everybody, welcome to another video, and today we're here with our friend Jesse, and uh, Jesse brought um, his Axial SES 10 um, straight from Florida, right Jesse? Yes, he just came from Florida, they had a show over there, what was the name of the show Jesse? The Fall Pit Scale Truck X, oh Halt, okay sorry, no I didn't hear, Hall Ultimate, okay. Ultimate Truck Expo, guys, in Florida. So um, he came uh, to visit us today, and he brought in one of his super amazing uh, all-scale uh, trucks. This particular one is a hard body, um, and it has the rust finish. I love the touch here with the handle, the uh, wrench as a handle. That looks fantastic. And um, it also has something very unique. Um, if you flip the truck upside down here, you could see it has the protectors. See the protector there, uh, which looks great. And he also put the um, fenders right inside of the um, front uh, wheels. Looks really cool. Um, a little bit more about this truck. Let's see, so there's a lot of uh, scale accessories here. As you can see, um, it looks as real as it gets with all the rust around it. The battery, that's a Proline um, battery there. Nice. Some uh, axial scale accessories. And, uh, oh, this is cute. This is cute. Yeah, there it is. This is the Proline too, right? The Proline one? Yep. Yeah. And it also is well Oh, look at that. I didn't see that. Uh oh, somebody's head is in there. Oh, and then the I just noticed the axe. Uh oh. Yeah, I see. Who's the driver? Uh, the driver is uh, it's supposed to be young Bruce Lee. Young Bruce Lee. Oh, he looks pretty serious in there. Let's see. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Young Bruce Lee. Sick. Young Bruce Lee, what's, uh, have you named this truck? Like, do you have a name for it? Or? Uh, I just, it's just always been called the Yoda. The Yoda? Yeah. Cool. Yoda! It's got like a Western theme with the horn on the front. You know, that looks really nice. Where did you get this horn, by the way? Because I have some uh, customers that have been asking me for this horn. Where, where can they, pro where can, who makes this, Axial? Yeah, that, is, oh, that comes is. with the parts tree for an Axial SCX-10 Oh, does it? Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. There you go, guys. The horns, uh, Axial, it comes with the parts, the Axial SES-102 with one of the trees. Nice front bumper, got a winch there, fully functional. Nice. The lights at the top also rusted out, giving it that realistic touch. So everything else, I'm just going to close the cap here. So everything else um, underneath, whoops, everything else here underneath um, looks like it's, uh, okay, perfect. Oh, very nice. Yeah, okay. I didn't, uh, I was just trying to see under here. I was just like, you gotta lift it. You gotta lift it? Oh, okay. Yeah, so just grab it anywhere and it'll look Oh, okay, and okay. You can see anything that's in there, right? Oh, very cool. Okay, so this is just the standard Axio SES 10? Or is it the it's, two? It's a 10 uh, frame rails with yeah. the 10 transmission. Yeah. And it has SCX 10 to kit axles. Oh. So just because it has the smaller pumpkins. Yeah. And then the old style SCX 10 axles. That's right. They so are a lot smaller. You run the smaller tires, but still get clearance yeah nice amount of ground clearance yes what size are these shocks 80 uh, they are 70 mil 70 mil, 70 mil shocks. they look good yeah actually I, lo I love running those shocks they work really well yeah they look really good look really good aluminum housing and you're running a uh a, just a, a lipo on this yeah uh, usually i run 4s 4s yeah uh, it's a it's a fast truck actually. It runs. Uh, it's a Holmes Electronics in it. Okay. Uh, it's brushless. So on this side you can come over. So it's uh, 3,800 kV brushless two pole setup. Oh. And it's geared to. It's reduced quite a bit to yeah. try and slow it down, but still it'll. 
throw rocks everywhere. It's kind of a wild truck. That's why it's got a couple bruises, right? Ooh. One headlight's missing and such. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just saw that right now, actually. <laughs> Didn't notice that before. How did you do this rust look? It looks so realistic. Uh, so what I did was I actually took uh, the shavings pot from my grinder and then, a, and then uh, wetted the body just with water. And then what you do is you sprinkle it on it with like a, a, just a cheap salt shaker. Yeah. And then you'll hit it with vinegar, and a vinegar mix with uh, water. And there's, I think as well, you can sprinkle uh, salt on it. And what you're doing is then just spraying that and then apply heat. And what it does, it just causes it to actually rust. Yeah. So you can rub it and everything. Like it actually comes off on your fingers. Wow. <laughs> you go out in the snow, it leaves like a little yellow stain. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah, it's kind of terrible. <laughs> but. That's so nice. But what a finish though, eh? Yeah, I love the finish too. Yeah. So you guys went to Florida, right? You and uh, Kyle is? Yeah, Kyle. Kyle? I believe uh, that's who you're speaking to. Speaking of, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he was Kyle's in went, and then there's a couple other guys uh, from Simcoe area as well that I'm friends with that went down there. Oh, very nice. Big shout out to the guys in Simcoe. Yeah, he was, um, I think it was Kyle, he was mentioning that um, the truck that he was uh, working on. He won. He won, right. He won yeah, he an won award. best interior. Yeah, that's right. Hands down, like he's got the detail. Yeah. Incredible build, actually. Yeah. 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 It was really neat. But hey, this one here is very nice as well. I really like everything that you did with it. You know what would be a really sweet touch? If this actually, like, if they made these hard bodies with the tailgate, it's actually... Funny, it's, it's the only one that doesn't function out of all the bodies that our four-wheel drive offers. It's the only truck. Yeah, is it? The tailgate doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> what? which one is this one? Uh, this is the... Our four-wheel drive Mojave body. Mojave body. Um, now you go to the Blazer hard body or any of the other hard bodies, the tailgate functions. Okay. Even the new Forerunner body, it functions as well. Cool. Well, that's very good to know. I didn't. I didn't actually know that. It is very good to know. All in all, you know, all in all, I mean, it's still a fantastic body. It's still hard body. You know, you, you don't have to worry about the lax sand bending or anything like that. It's more it's realistic. More, more worried, worried about cracking it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which adds more detail. I, I kind of like that. Right. You right. Know what right. I mean? Yeah. You start putting cracks in it and stuff. It's more like a real truck. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you're using the vehicle, right? You're going out there. You're using it. So. Oh, yeah. I use this one quite a bit. It's yeah. Been, uh, yeah, that's good. You're having fun with it. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Jesse, for bringing in another one of your spectacular vehicles. Hey, no problem. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>